Get that money, dummy, do it for the love And I'm hungry, did I mention money? Cop cars, now I need that airplane money Harley laugh in the ghetto, being broke ain't funny We built for this homie, yeah, we run the streets You see me everywhere, Judah, tucking the heat I'm Yo, I rap for the hustlers, put my life on this beat We all we got the next thing we're going to do on Boxing Bros is we're going to review footage of the legendary Roy Jones Jr. doing some mitt work. All right, that was, that was stiff, quick. All right, let's see Roy. Those look like those are at least uh, like 18, 20 ounce gloves. Shit. So, woo! <laughs> I had to take a little break. Roy, Roy, good. He good. All right. Oh, all right. All right. All right. So, hey guys, um, thanks for watching. Before we get started, I think uh, sure the hand speed is looking pretty good. At all our social media platforms so, all right, uh, and my G, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I got to be honest, man. These Whoever uh, leaked that footage or if they intentionally put it out, I don't think that was it. You know what I mean? Um, from, like, to me, when I see, like, the Tyson footage, it's, like, it's carefully edited, right, to, to make us believe Mike Tyson is back. Because we're only seeing short clips of him doing combinations with his trainer or him hitting, like, a heavy bag, whatever. We can't tell if after one combo Tyson's gassed or anything. But when I seen this footage, two things bothered me. One, um, if he's just hitting the mitts just to hit the mitts, that's cool. But if he's hitting the mitts that way as a strategy to fight against Mike Tyson, I, I think he's doing himself a major disadvantage. Um, for one, uh, Tyson's not going to allow that that much distance. So if you notice, he was punching at the end of his punches. I think he should be training more on inside fighting. Um, so that, that's one thing. Two, his defense – I know I'm a stick law on defense. I know people hate when I say this, but it's just the truth. I don't believe he has the reflexes that he used to have back in the days. So at this age, he's going to have to rely heavily on being a defensive fighter, especially with a guy like Mike Tyson. Again, um, speed goes, you know, your reflexes go, but the power stays. At the very least, he has to learn to just keep his hands up, especially during a, a Mike Tyson barrage, right? So. I didn't like how that looked either, but he still has decent speed, but I'm not impressed. I'm going to be honest, right? Um, when I hold the mitts, I, I kid you not, I'm not even joking when I say this. It's always the little guys. Yo, it sounds like lightning. Like, it literally sounds like, not like, it sounds like thunder, right? Like, goosh, goosh. It sounds extremely loud, but it's not that hard. Like, I'm being honest, like, I think a lot of uh, trainers should just come out and tell the truth. Like, just because it sounds loud don't mean it's, like, that powerful, right? Like, to me, the ones that, when I catch punches, the ones that, like, don't necessarily make that noise, those usually be the, the, the hardest punches. I'd be like, oh, man, this, this is crazy. Like, sometimes you got to shake off your, your, your wrist, kind of like homeboy last night that broke his arm in, the, in that fight. You know, you, you just got to shake it off sometimes because it's like you can feel the, the force. With, when I hear, like, those loud, like, thunder type of um, connections with the, the glove and the mitt, it's cute. I think, like, it's for people that that don't necessarily know, like, because it's just, like, to me, if you generate enough speed at the same time as the person holding the mitt generating, like, catching with that type of speed, it's going to make that loud noise. It doesn't mean it's like, yo, it's a devastating punch. It just means, yo, it's that just that connection was loud. But... Like, a person like Tyson, like, when I see him holding the mitt, like, throwing while his trainer's holding the mitts, it's not making that type of noise. It's not. But you could tell those punches are for real, you know? And so I kind of feel like 
that could be deceiving. So I don't want people believing like, oh, yo, just because you heard in a hollow gym where there's like nobody around, you hear that loud noise that, yo, Roy's going to take Tyson's head off. Like, nah, bro, I don't, I don't necessarily believe that. But however, I just feel like with the footage that I did see, I don't believe that's the right strategy to go up against a Mike Tyson. And I, I just hope, you know, I'm overanalyzing this. I really do. I hope Roy Jones is going to have a, a good strategy to fight Tyson. And But that footage right there, that strategy ain't it. All right, Ned. I disagree with G, first off. I want to say that. I just feel we don't know what, what like you said, this image is, it could be edited. We don't know what part of training this was. This does, definitely doesn't look like it was the beginning of training. It looks like Roy was just, like, it's towards the end, and he was just practicing, like, um, he was tired, and he was just trying to, um, I guess they were just making him, making sure he could keep the power on his punches if he was in, like, a situation, like, he's moving, trying to get out of danger. So that's what it looked like to me. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't feed in too much on it. I don't think that's what he's planning for Tyson. It's just to get out of danger, a strategy with he's in the danger zone. That's all. That's my take, my piece. I mean, training is training. So what round was it? We don't know. Um, what were they trying to do? What were they trying to accomplish? Um, it could be a number of things. So maybe he's working on single shots, fast, sharp, single shots. Um, I don't know. I can't say uh, that clip was an indication of what the strategy is going to be. However, when I analyzed that clip, for me, it's not the punches he was throwing. It was the way he was moving. It was like he was walking um, to move out of the way. He wasn't pushing off the back foot. Catch, well, he, well, when he stepped in, he was pushing off the back foot, catching on the front, but he wasn't like gliding. He wasn't uh, gliding side to side. Um, he wasn't pushing off the front, catching on the back. Um, he was just literally just walking to move away. And I think he's going to have trouble if uh, his footwork isn't on point. But once again, I don't know what he was doing. Maybe uh, he was just getting a few shots in. Um, what was encouraging was the speed was good. Um, he did stop. I don't know if that was due to fatigue or whatever the case may be. Um, but I, I can't judge him off of that clip. What I will say is the, the knock against Roy Jones, even in his prime, was that he wasn't technically sound. He was beating everybody because he was athletically superior. He was just faster than everyone. He had better reflexes than everyone. He had amazing timing. And once his reflexes begin to leave him, that's when people start to clip him. And so that was always uh, the knock against Roy Jones. So, for example, someone like Bernard Hopkins – who was technically sound when he fought Roy in his prime, Roy beat him. And then when they were older and they both lost, you know, a few miles per hour off the fastball, uh, Bernard Hopkins, who had other pitches he can go to, and Roy, who used to just rely on the speed of his fastball, had nothing else, and, 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 and Bernard was able to get his revenge. So, you know, I believe Roy – is a perfect opponent for Mike Tyson. He's a guy who's been knocked out, like we've discussed uh, several times by numerous people, even lower level opposition. He's a guy who relied on reflexes and speed and to beat everyone. And that is all gone now due to his age. So at the most, all Tyson needs is for Roy to slow, slow down just a little bit as the fight progresses. And then he'll, you know, traditional wisdom conventional wisdom tells you that Tyson will catch him at some point although from what I'm reading this is nothing more than a glorified exhibition anyway so all right. <laughs> anybody else that's it man you can take all right it. all right take it home so everybody please like share subscribe follow us on Facebook Instagram Twitter uh follow us on every uh podcast platform it's the boxing bros <laughs> I wanna see what's on your mind. I wanna see what's on my mind. Every all the time. I wanna know if you wanna be mine. I wanna know if you can.